Hello guys and welcome to Study IQ. My name is Amit Sani and I welcome you in this daily Hindu analysis video. In the evening, the PIB videos come. In the morning, the Hindu paper analysis videos they come. And both in Hindi and English, you get these lessons. And 17th of April, it is important MCQs. We are discussing in both the lessons and uh, they are having a separate set of MCQs and separate explanations. So extremely important these lessons are. Around 10 to 12 questions we are discussing on daily basis uh, in total and. Uh, this is going to be an important compilation for your prelims this year. So do not miss any of the lesson. And these are uh, the website address, address and the phone number. There you can call and you can ask for these important pen drive courses updated one by Study IQ. All are important one. And every day I tell about you, uh, these uh, courses. They are going to save your lakhs of rupees. And in this particular time, precious time, they will help you a lot. These are the words that I found today and now the MCQs that I gave to you yesterday. Notre Dame is a medieval Catholic cathedral. That is, that is correct. Now the news was regarding Notre Dame. The damage uh, has been done because of the fire incident and uh, this year for the prelims examination. You should uh, go through all the important cathedrals which are there in India. And they were built by Britishers and you should uh, uh, go uh, uh, with the information uh, regarding those also. and. Uh, who built them, what was the importance associated with that. So these things would be important. And in this question, this is there in France, famous for the Virgin Mary statues and all. Coronation of Napoleon I that happened in the same cathedral, but it was in 1821. Okay. And this particular uh, structure was created in the 12th century and the 13th century. So it was way uh, back in history. So only one is the correct answer here. Second is wrong. This coronation of Napoleon is okay, but uh, he did not uh, build it. Thank you. Next question uh, regarding some details you can see here. This is the vaulted roof that was damaged. This structure is vault and these are buttresses which are giving support to this particular structure. And it's a very uh, important architectural uh, monument and uh, naturalistic themes are used in that. So these details sometimes UPSC asks because they are also related to art forms and which are uh, important according to UPSC. Next, Indonesia is the second largest Muslim majority. No, Indonesia is the largest Muslim majority state in the world. Biggest population of Muslims uh, th uh, that is there in Indonesia. So this is wrong. Second one is correct. It got independence from Netherlands in 1945. So only two is the correct answer here. You can see in the map the density of the uh, Muslim population and the percentage of uh, total population how many are they Muslims so in these uh, countries of northern Africa that is the Sahel region they may ask you in the prelims what is the Sahel region the Sahara desert area is called Sahel region and uh, all Middle East countries and uh, Afghanistan Pakistan and here in the southeastern Asia these ASEAN countries and all Malaysia Indonesia and uh, the Bandar Seri Bhagwan's uh, Bruni and uh, all, all all important countries which are there. If, uh, if we leave Singapore uh, aside and uh, some areas of Malaysia aside, then Muslim majority is living there. And Indonesia, the island nation, multiple islands are there: Sumatra, Java, and uh, this uh, Guinea island and all. So all these are part of Indonesia. And a huge number of population is living there and a maximum of them are Muslims. Second largest Muslim population is there in Pakistan. Around 20 crore uh, of, uh, number of uh, Muslims are living in Pakistan and next is India. Around 19 crore people and the percentage of the, of the total population is around 14.9. That much uh, uh, number of Muslims are there in India. So these are demographic profiles and important questions of human geography. So they may be asked. And because of the most populous countries like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and they are having sizable numbers of Muslims. So in terms of Muslim population, South Asia, not Southeast Asia, is having the biggest number of people who are uh, uh, from Islam faith. Okay, so that's the number. Otherwise, concentration or the percentage of the total population is higher with these countries, mainly the Middle East countries. You can see here, the number in South Asia is around 60 crore. Okay, 
seven eight nine uh, six it's sixty crore okay and in southeast asia this is around 24 crores so it is way higher here and uh, as the percentage of the world population the muslim numbers are around 24.1 percent and in asia they are around 24.3 percent and the highest number of any uh, religious uh, following is with christianity okay hinduism is way after that first is christianity second is islam faith okay so that's important information uh, the world demography information next many times in news rapid prototyping direct digital manufacturing layered manufacturing additive manufacturing and additive fabrication all phenomena are associated with the three-dimensional printing or the 3d printing okay most important uh, and sensational uh, kind of a discovery by scientists in 1990s and first they were calling these models like rapid prototyping these were basic models and they were based on computer added designs CADs these are three-dimensional designs created under graphics and these 3d printers they print them as the model uh, that looks into the picture so in the same way these machines they create that and the additive uh, uh, manufacturing means layer by layer they join these structures and they use very significant uh, type of uh, raw material like uh, graphene and nanomaterials and uh, in the biological manufacturing like yesterday we heard about the manufacturing of a heart biological heart by 3d printer so in that they use stem cells and a specific kind of tissues and all and they bind them by additive layering so this particular techniques these are used in 3d printing you can see here by kuka robots help the the uh, 3d printers they have even managed to create this car this much big car by 3d printer so no humans were involved in this manufacturing and the precision is the extremely important thing with that because they are extremely unique and beautiful and there is no mistake in the model because it is all machine made there is no chance of mistakes here whether the machine fail or it is the perfect model so that is the thing and you can see here uh, perfectly looking pictures and all uh, these are 3d structures they can be printed by 3d printers so, and all important categories are there of these 3d printings so they may be asked and a CAD file or the computer added design file is created and after out of that they create these 3d models let's see the pictures of some uh, important materials or important tools or some kind of designed materials which were created by 3d printing you can see in this picture layer by layer these things are added and you see unimaginably beautiful and uh, complex structures can be printed by machines which is very difficult to create by humans you can see in these structures and they are so robust they are not hollow they are uh, created by adding layer uh, layer by layer and you can see in this picture it is uh, adding layers here and this is additive manufacturing and in the same way it creates biological structures also so they are if if the if it is possible that uh, in future they are able to create working lungs heart or bones or something like that then it is gonna achieve the ultimate goal of science and that is the ultimate help for humans if they are able to create these kind of things by 3d printing although they are saying they are claiming that we can create that but uh, the successful uh, workable models like they created heart but how much successful it is going to be for the human where it is going to be applied then uh, how much successful it would be that is to be seen in the future next measles as i told you normal measles is called english measles and uh, it is uh, caused by measles virus it's not a contagious bacterial disease it is a viral disease very contagious it can spread with the coughing and uh, the liquid dropping in the suspended uh, uh, mass of uh, air and uh, through coughing sneezing or staying together it can spread very easily because viral disease they are extremely contagious so first is wrong second is also wrong why it is called rubula that is correct but it is not called German measles it is called English measles German measles is a different uh, type of disease and that is somehow mild if we compare it with the English measles or the normal measles 
it is caused by rubella rubella is a different virus and this is a measles virus and it is called rubiola so there is a difference although symptoms are almost similar but the mildness is more with rubella causing german measles okay so by rubella german measles and uh, by measles virus rubiola it is uh, english measles or the normal measles many kids they uh, died in in the phases uh, before 2000 year 90s because it was very contagious no treatment is available till now there is no treatment of this disease only vaccination is available and because of the effective vaccination many many cases are saved and uh, it was extremely helpful more than 70 to 80 percent kids they were safe because of these vaccinations but now the numbers are rising again after 2017 in last two years the cases are rising again because of the known availability of the vaccines in some areas in africa america and in asia so both are wrong here dean and is the answer of this all the detail i have told you antibiotics are given in some cases you see why antibiotics are given in uh, disease which are caused by viruses so that any additional infection bacterial infection that would not be there because when the body becomes weaker and body is fighting with the viral infection so at that time bacteria may attack the body and at that time antibiotics are going to help so antibiotics are not go not going to uh, work on viruses they are not effective on virus antibiotics work on uh, bacteria only but in that phase where immunity is compromised then additional infections they may be invited by the body so antibiotics are given for that so next question wpi is released by dipp department of industrial policy and promotion and that comes under ministry of corp uh, of commerce okay so that is wrong second headline inflation rate we are calling wpi as headline inflation rate that is perfectly correct and we discussed about that uh, in detail in yesterday's lecture next the base year this has been already changed from 2004 to 2012 there is no ongoing proposal it has been already changed and uh, right now the base year is 2012 it used to be 2004 before that so only two is the correct answer here one and three are wrong next country is located on the coast of mediterranean sea you see this is mediterranean sea this is uh, ionian sea this is aegean sea black sea sea of marmara is uh, connecting black sea with the this uh, aegean sea and strait of kerch is there which is connecting black sea with this, this particular water mass and always look for important boundaries of these specific countries because the countries which are located around the caspian sea and the black sea they are extremely important in the upsc section okay so this question regarding the mediterranean coast these uh, are cities sitre tripoli and benghazi these are cities of libya tripoli is here sirte is here and uh, benghazi is here istanbul is a turkey city and it is located here so it is not located on the mediterranean coast so 1 2 4 is the correct answer here you can see in the map tripoli uh, mistara sirte and benghazi important cities on the northern coast of libya and uh, tunisia is the country capital is tunis all important cities you must remember alexandria is a very important historical city located in egypt on the mediterranean coast cairo is not on the coast okay remember that cyprus malta these are also important and some uh, islands related to some countries like sardinia is related to italy corsica is related to uh, france so these are important next about the articles today today's articles are less important because uh, if you talk about this this is important for gs paper 1 2 and 3 all because it is talking about the india's election connection to the south asian uh, region its polity its uh, uh, the international relation issues and uh, geopolitical issues everywhere we will have some impacts so in brief we will talk about that maximum uh, part of this article is political one it is on the ideological tones and all and it is criticizing some uh, where about the present policies but we will not discuss that we will discuss discuss about the important south asian concerns this article again is uh, not of much importance because it is talking about the indonesia's politics the uh, election is going on and uh, the zokovi is the president incumbent person in indonesia whatever happens in that big country as i told you population is huge 
and the most important country in the Southeast Asian region, then whatever happens there, it's going to be important for us. Maximum number of people are there as Muslims and India is also having a sizable number of Muslims. So this uh, Muslim connection is also very important for us. Act East policy is extremely working here. And uh, you see, China is a factor in all these countries which are in Asia. Uh, like smaller countries like Nepal, uh, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, they all are struggling uh, with this uh, uh, dilemma that uh, whom to choose, India or China, or which way we should go. But it is also an important factor in bigger countries of Southeast Asia, which are progressive ones like Malaysia, Singapore, and Indonesia and all. But Indonesia have uh, Indonesia has many, many challenges. And this Zokovi person, the uh, present president, is said to be pro-China. But now many challenges are there for him and what kind of future uh, it will have then we need to see. But whatever happens that is going to be extremely important for us. Trade wise, geopolitics wise, every uh, sphere that it, its future is going to depend on these elections. So that's important. It is talking about Sudan's uh, condition that is not important for us. And now this issue of election bonds and the Supreme Court's decision that submit all the data regarding election funding in a sealed cover and it has asked this thing to all the political parties till 31st of May they all have to submit it in the sealed closures uh, now the issue is the writer says that it's too late why Supreme Court uh, took up this issue when petition was filed one year back and in January 18 when election bonds and all came then a lot of controversies a lot of explanations a lot of discussions a lot of uh, clarities were there regarding the new funding that is problematic because transparency has been uh, compromised in that also where government was arguing that uh, there is more transparency now but it was not the case actually so the writer says supreme court has been very very late in this thing and now the polls are going on and whatever impact uh, uh, was there that is all done so what we can do now at best, the Supreme Court can analyze this issue in an unbiased manner and uh, in a total scrutiny, it should take take up this issue. And whoever is responsible for bigger troubles and mainly for this democratic process because it is the extremely important process for India. Most important uh, process this is as the election is. So uh, Supreme Court must uh, see this thing in this particular context and it is going to be very, very important. Next, this is not important for us, uh, it's an interview. We will discuss this particular article. It is talking about the world growth and its uh, trade reports and all. Now, in this particular article, it talks about the present situation. It says that he is not much happy with the ongoing uh, situation, political situation in India. It is affecting a lot of areas, economy and uh, politics and decision making, administration, everything. So things are not going okay according to the, to the writer. And he talks about all uh, the countries where democracies are huge, but uh, allegations are there on the leaders that uh, more arbitrary manners are being imposed in, in countries. And uh, whether we talk about Trump in USA, Putin in Russia, Erdogan in Turkey, and uh, uh, Dutrete in Philippines, and uh, Bolsonaro in Brazil. So uh, there are many allegations, problems certainly are there more centralized tendencies are rising in these countries so now the issue is that we are at a crossroads whatever political is given in this article not important for us but that is important that south asia region is very very important we are the leading country sark group is used to uh, used to be very very important but uh, right now not much we talk about SARC and not many discussions are centered on the SARC issue and we have uh, missed the particular meet uh, last last year also and uh, now the uh, revival of uh, this particular subcontinental regionalism that the writer is talking about that is important because if we want to take an edge here China is a huge factor, but we can uh, uh, become victorious here if we manage our position, we manage our relations with our neighbors. Because regarding China, uh, many of these countries, they now know about. And we they all know about India's particular image that used to be very, very good in the past. But some ch things are changing in India's uh, civil uh, services, India's uh, decision making in the context of international relations, its diplomacy 
everything is with a change now and it says that the precedents set by india's courts are studied elsewhere and the professionalism of civil service is regarded as the benchmark so benchmarks we had set in the past now things are changing that what, what kind of long term impacts of these things are going to be we need to see but now we have a great opportunity that we uh, realign uh, some things here and the problems which we are creating unnecessarily in our country these may be a problem in the future and uh, taking a leadership in this world that would demand a lot of uh, balanced steps from our side so these all things will be decided by the election and that is why this election indian elections they are totally concerning to the south asian geopolitics and uh, if you talk about a uh, trade other relations then all things are uh, related to that so regionalism is going to be important in the future because countries are going into uh, uh, some kind of uh, grouping now you see china russia coming together and uh, we see changing stance by japan and we see america israel uh, they are taking a particular stand and all so regionalism would be important and we can uh, maintain our hegemony here in the south asian region because china is located far away but in this particular region all other countries are smaller than india is uh, uh, really a great country here and sabotaging of sark can hardly be considered a victory here for the further light geopolitical uh, stratagem fails to consider that regionalism is a potent means to bring economic growth and social justice to india's own polarized peripheral regions means prosperity of this particular region of south asia is extremely important for india also so that is why everything we need to keep in perspective but unfortunately the maximum number of people in india they do not care about these sensitive things they have very less knowledge they uh, they need uh, to know about these things so the role of media is going to be extremely important in this phase but that is not possible and that is totally against india's developmental aspects and they are all about uh, uh, dirty politics uh, who is saying what and so we need to hope for prosperous side uh, here and the region is going to be extremely important these things should be focused here and a lot more discussion is needed in this area so this is all uh, given as a gist in this particular article otherwise uh, it's on political tones so let's move to the next this we have discussed as i told you that whatever is going to happen in this particular region is going to be important for us gurjeet singh is former indian ambassador to indonesia so he talks about crucial issues between the countries but for the exam point of view this article is not talking much uh, uh, there because uh, things will be clearer after the elections okay next clouds on the horizon in this particular article when this uh, important meet of imf and world bank that that was held and they said that there are fears about a slowing global economy again we are sliding towards a, a recession like situation the growth aspects they are being lowered consistently these were 3.7 in october then they uh, brought it to 3.5% in january now in 2019 at this particular time it is 3.3% so that is a scary a number and the fed rates and all all these issues related to us uh, chamber of commerce and all they were also uh, not much optimistic they needed to take care of those situations because some steps taken by trump administration to put uh, taxes on rich class and all those were not much fruitful and uh, the economic condition that could not be boosted so the world economy is going through a lull phase and uh, the growth is not coming although there was a phase of spur uh, one year back but now this year is not hopeful and the growth trajectories are again to coming towards a decline okay so if we uh, go by these lines by christian lagarde said that whereas two years ago 75% of the global economy experienced an upswing the expectation this nm is for a slump in 70% of the world economy so that's that that is a concerning thing and pace of exports and imports was 4.6% in 2017 and strongest since the rebound after 2007 uh, and 8 uh, recession and the crisis but the 2018 figures 
were a modest 3% only means 1.6% less than the 17 number so there is a fall and consistent fall is going on so the data is given by WTO also here and now they are hoping for 3.6% in 2020 but this all things would be dependent on the Brexit issue on the uh, US and China's uh, uh, trade tensions how they are going to resolve it as soon as it is going to be possible then the growth trajectory would move upwards and the export import uh, situation between bigger countries okay and the rate policy in uh, US Chamber of Commerce and the Fed rates and all so all these issues will influence the word growth otherwise if these things are not solved Brexit is not uh, gonna be smooth now and it doesn't happen this year then there can be many many problems you see because of the Brexit is issue uh, our talks of free trade agreement with Europe with the European Union also these are also stuck and they are not moving further so we all need this particular solution but we do not see much clarity there next Supreme Court after uh, 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 saying something to election commission in harsh words election commission wakes up and it uh, gives a lot of threatening now 24 hour ultimatums ultimatum is given to uh, these uh, parties and all and some things are going to be important here for the prelims examination from the ipc code 1860 section 124a is going to be important this year it talks about uh, sedition section 153a is talking about the hate speech promotion of enmity between different groups and all which are openly flouted by uh, political leaders they are talking uh, on the communal lines and all so this is again gonna be important this year and the rpa acts 123 3a 124a these are gonna be important and all these issues are related with the hate speech cinematographic act 1952 and cable television network regulating act they can uh, stop the screening of some programs and movies which are on communal lines and they may uh, create some kind of controversy religious controversy communal controversy or some kind of uh, uh, writing and all so these can be banned so all will be important uh, in the context of hate speech so in the prelims this, this is going to be important and for the free and fair election the section in uh, rpa act which are going to be extremely important this year so revise all these things next bsnl starts working on 5g till now they haven't, haven't got uh, the 4g rollout so they are hoping uh, uh, a smooth rollout of 4g now and 5g they are saying that we will soon roll this out also and uh, nearly 50 percent of the population is still untouched by mobile phones this is the reality for india so they are going to target those people because the network of bsnl is still very strong that is the biggest network in india and no other uh, telecom company has this kind of uh, infrastructure which bsnl has but it is going through this very struggling phase and they are saying that the worst is over and we will uh, talk now so whatever you think about bsnl bsnl thinks very differently sensex nifty these are at all time high this year and uh, because of the investments there is a rise in stock exchanges so stock exchanges are also going to be very very important read about bse read about nse read about uh, or the counter exchange of india read about the important history after 1991 phase so all these things are going to be important next cotton textile tax pro sale these are export promotion council and it is the international face of indian cotton textile and uh, there is a rise uh, that we are exporting to china here china is also a, a big producer here but uh, we are exporting it and read about all these export promotion councils there is a council regarding uh, the power loom hand loom ephs and uh, the silk uh, the jute everything is there we have export promotion councils there so i have discussed this issue in a pib lesson but uh, these may be asked this year so now text process say that export of cotton textile to china on a rise so that's that's a good news these data are regarding the cathedral uh, which was damaged because of the fire and victor hugo's novel may be asked this year hunchback of notre dame he talked about this notre dame and its religious sculptures and all and after uh, this novel it got a lot of uh, importance and uh, renovation works and all they were started and this was the best creation of Victor Hugo an important poet and novelist in France now these are the questions try to look out uh, for their answers and important uh, uh, details we are discussing and for your help additional help uh, uh, on the Facebook group I have given uh, my 
a challenge link so there i can give you some important uh, help for the prelims this year and these uh, videos uh, uh, the hindu and pib these are going on follow study iq religiously for some additional uh, videos i may put some things there so you can check today thanks a lot keep watching it was amit sari